He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Last year, a lot of people heard of the Peel Pumpkin Project, and it quickly swept the nation. And it's for non-food treats on Halloween night. There are a lot of kids out there that are allergic to nuts and certain things that are in candy. So we invited Megan from Allergy Awesomeness to tell us all about the Teal Pumpkin Project. Yes, it's such a great moment. What I love is it was actually started by a mom. So it just goes to show like the power of one. Mm -hmm. And then it's just spread, like you said, it's a national movement. And it's a great way to make sure that everyone's included and has a safe holiday. So there's Definitely. It's safe, there's no tricks, but not treats, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you don't want to exclude anyone. No. You don't want to have kids come to your house and say, oh, I have nothing for you. Exactly. And a lot of parents are also getting onto this movement because it's less candy. Oh my gosh, right? So less sugar, you know, and the thing that I like is these last a lot longer. My kids, yeah. maybe five seconds for candy, they swallow it down, but this can last for weeks. So lots of entertainment, lots of fun. Okay, so give us some ideas yeah. when it comes to, first off, let's talk about the teal pumpkin. Can you just paint any pumpkin? Yes, and you know what? If you're not crafty, there are even printable signs you can just print out. And so, stick right on your yeah, door. exactly. So there's lots of ways to let people know, but this is just a great marker. So like me with my boys, if I mm -hmm. see this on your porch, I'll know, okay, this is a place that's offering non-food treats. Yeah, perfect. Easy, easy yeah. idea. Yeah, and super cute. It kind of, you know, adds some color to all Yeah, the it definitely does. So let's talk about some of the non-food yeah. uh, fun things you brought because there are so, so many, many options. I know, and you know what? I've been doing it for three years, and this is like, it gets better and better every year. Because at first I was like, what do you, what do you hand out? But there's yeah. so many options. So I got all of this, all these different options from mm -hmm. Oriental Trading, which I like because it's online. I don't even have to leave my house. And there's lots of fun things. Like my kids love these yo-yos. That is the cutest Isn't that cute? It's got little bats on it. And then the slinkies. You can't go wrong with slinkies. Yeah. If you want, noisemakers, fun for a little bit for parents, not for too <laughs> long. But they've got fun whistles. I love these clappers. They like that. Um, for little boys, they love these airplanes. Oh, let me Isn't try that, that out. I know. Look how Just cute that is. Overall. It has a little skeleton on it. Here we go. There you go. Nice. It works. It works. Well, it's good, right? That. Quality, yeah. quality. And then there's also like little books you can do with games in it. Bouncy balls, those never. Bouncy get balls old. are always a hit. Aren't exactly. They? I mean, teeth, you can do like little finger puppets, little games. So there's a huge variety, and they're all. Halloween themed, or you know, if you only want to give out a few, there's fun things, bigger things like that, stuffed mm -hmm. animals. So you can't go wrong. There's something and for then everyone. The yearly hit with every yes. kid every year are the fake dragons. Those will never teeth. go out of style. Never. And are these ones glow in the dark? They're not. They look they, like they kind they of are. They do have some, yeah. That's fun. I know. Lots okay, of and fun. let's talk about cost because a lot of people say, oh, I just want to buy candy because it's cheaper. But sure. how much do these things really cost? Oh, a couple of bucks. And the nice thing is, is because there's just one in 13 kids that has a food allergy, all you need is a small bowl, a small sampling. So, you know, just get a little package of maybe 20 to 30, mm -hmm. a couple of bucks, keeping it in its own individual bowl. And then when someone says, I need the toe pumpkin stuff, mm -hmm. you can get it out. That way you're not buying the hundreds of things. And if you want to give out maybe candy that's cheaper, if you don't have time to get non food treats, there mm -hmm. are candies that are inexpensive, easy to find. That are free, the top eight allergens. Okay, so let's talk about those because I think a lot of people aren't aware that there there are some candies that almost every kid can eat. Yeah. So Skittles. Skittles, that's a win. Who's not gonna like Skittles? Everybody right? Everybody loves Skittles. Yes. And then we love Smarties. Those are good. And Dum Dums. And all those are super easy to find. And the thing to remember is that obviously things like Snickers are gonna have peanuts, but people often forget that chocolate has dairy in it. So anything chocolate, chocolate has is dairy gonna be a it. big no-no. So that's why you stick with things that are mostly made of sugar. Good so anything point. like Pixie Sticks, Smarties, Dum Dums, Skittles, those kind of things are almost always a good bet. Look what I just found. I know. How fun. Like witches' fingers. There are so many different options. And this is way more fun than candy, right? It like, is. I think, so much fun. I think a lot of people out there who don't have kids with allergies will still think this yeah. is an even yeah. better idea. So, so many fun things. Let's talk about your blog because you post so many recipes for mm -hmm. other parents out there who have kids with allergies. You have recipes for every meal. Yeah, thank you. I do. So it's allergyawesomeness.com, and I've actually got three different Halloween fun candies that are allergy friendly right now, and some trick or treating tips because there are things you want to do to make sure that your kids are safe on the Halloween night. Great ideas, Megan. Thank you so much. Yeah. And we will link up to her site on rsfox13now.com. All you have to do is click on the place, and you'll find all the information. And I hope you have a great Halloween. Thank you. Have a safe Halloween. Okay, coming up right after the break.